Hi guys, I showed you this little clockwork ladybird, or wind-up ladybird, that I bought in the charity shop. I think we're going to have to take it apart to have a look, see how these little levers on the bottom are activated. That one moves, and this one flicks up and down every so often. And the result of that is it has a fairly random movement on the floor. Ah, stuck. But I think you've got the general idea. It's quite random in what it does. So we'll have a peek inside. Just have a look at the mechanism that's doing all that activity. Okay, so we've got a fairly standard little wind-up motor there, spring-powered. I'm not going to take that apart. All I'm interested in is what it is that makes that white lever move and the big black lever. Well, we can see the white lever is attached, well it is, this unit here. So, yeah, we can see there's a nice big cam. Oh, right, okay. It makes it a bit easier to see, doesn't it? Nice big cam there on the side. That operates that little white lever. And on the other side, we've got another cam, slightly different shape. That operates this one. Right, showing how this black lever works on this side isn't quite so easy because I need to hold it in place because there's a couple of pillars in there that would be holding it down in place. And if I hold it in place and I'm putting too much pressure on it, uh, well, we'll see what we can do. So wind it up. You'll notice there's a little clip that springs over when we're winding it up, but on the way back, it pulls that lever forwards. And pulling that lever forwards pulls that one down. Uh, you can see them. Pull that right off. Right. That's the lever that goes down underneath with a little hole on top of it or a little arm with a hole in it, and then oh, I'm going to have to take it apart just to get to it. This piece pulls to pull that, if I pivot it in my fingers, Put that back in place. So wind it up. As so we're winding it up, that little lever clicks over. But if we let it go, it catches and pulls it. Wind it up a bit more. Yeah, 
So there we go. That's what it does. So on that side, it's the big cam. That's moving it. And on the other side, it's that little clicky thing. That little lever there is just lifting one, or yeah, lifting the bodywork up so that wheel doesn't touch the floor. So it goes round in circles when when that's up. Well, I've just been watching it go, and I don't think that black lever's having any effect. I think that's supposed to tip him right up. But it's not happening. I'm going to take it off temporarily. And see what happens without it because I don't think it's having any effect so this is without that black lever so it's just that little white one coming up tilting it so that wheel doesn't touch the ground so it just spins around with that wheel turning and it's held off the ground with the white peg put the black lever back on again and I've had a rethink. I think its purpose is to just slow him up as he's going along. The white one definitely lifts one side off the ground so it goes around in circles. The black one I think it just lifts the front up a bit so the wheels aren't touching the ground or they lose grip at least and it makes him slow down or stop so he's just not going at a continuous speed. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Trouble is, every time I try and demonstrate it, he runs into the wall and stops. Like that. or runs out of camera. That'll do. I've actually spent about 15 minutes trying to get a good film of this going. And he keeps banging into the walls and stopping or going behind the camera. So, well, that's my best guess. That's all I can say. That black lever um, stops him in his tracks and the white one makes him spin round. I think.